Good morning, y'all. It is Tuesday, the 26th of December. It is Boxing Day. And welcome to day six of Yule Vlog. It is 9-11 at this point. I'm about to get dressed and do a little bit of makeup because we are getting together with some friends at Jinya for noon. So that should be good. I haven't eaten at Jinya in a while. Jinya is a local, like, ramen bar place for those who do not know. I believe they have locations in other areas, but I don't know how expansive their company is. But we are wearing the Haunted Snow Globe sweater today. I should I should not wear yesterday's jeans. I should find a different pair. Hey, look, a different pair, the dark blue ones. I'm gonna get dressed and then it's like a 20 minute drive over there, depending on traffic and how long it takes me to park. Yeah, let's get dressed. That is up to you. We wanna talk about it right now. Sorry. <laughs> so lunch was very, very fun. The food was wonderful. And our server, Anna, was fantastic. We sat outside in the breezeway for the entrance to the movie theater, but it really wasn't that cold and there were heaters uh, out there. So it felt wonderful. We went and walked around Barnes and Noble together for a little bit. A few of us got a few things. And then we all went to try the Creamistry liquid nitrogen frozen ice cream and then said our goodbyes and parted ways. Chris and I start, stopped at Home Goods on the way home to get a couple of coats for the other, for two more of our dogs and some gifts for a couple of people. And when we got home, my aunt and uncle and cousin who live in the Houston area who were in town. I knew they were in town. I didn't expect to see them today, but they were here visiting. So we got to talk with them for a little bit, which was nice. Bramble very much enjoyed <laughs> the pets from my uncle and my cousin. But yeah, we're home, we're relaxing. It's a Bramble! Bramble, Bramble, it's a Bramble! Bramble. Bramble. Sit. Hi, does he? Sit. No, sit. Sit. Sit, sit. Good sit. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. <laughs> hey, Mom, I know you've got food up here. But yeah, today has been a lovely, lovely day. And I will probably get to work wrapping some of the other presents that we just bought that we weren't able to get before Christmas for those people. So y'all have already seen one present wrapping clip, so I don't know if I'll show any more. And then I'll probably work on some clip editing for Twitch and maybe work on some shorts for YouTube and everything. And I gotta get caught up on these Yule vlogs. That's all I'll mention of it though. I'll probably just be working in here the rest of the evening. I did buy, I've been curious about it lately. So I got a book on feng shui. It's gotta go at the end of the reading list because I have so many unread books, but hopefully next year I can read more. I did not expect to get derailed so hard with the Edgar Allan Poe book as I did. So I need to make some time to actually sit down and read that one. I might have to like determine a day to sit down and read and just read. I guess I will sit down and get to some work. I am working on an import and Chris asked if I wanted to watch a movie. I said, sure. So we're gonna, we, last night was definitely movie night, but we fell asleep during the movie. So <laughs> we're gonna try again. But something that just occurred to me as I'm importing footage and, and looking over stuff and thinking back on today alone, the one issue I seem to be having with this series the last few years is that I'll get to a point within my day where I'm so focused on what's happening in the day that I don't think about the filming. And so I either end up with shots that aren't really usable, don't really look good, don't really tell you anything, or I have nothing except a greeting and a closing. So I'm wondering if anyone else has done this daily vlog stuff or if you watch other daily vloggers, because I'm not gonna do this long term. The fact that I'm, I'm having these issues in just a two week span, I am scatterbrained enough that I would not succeed at a long term daily vlog. If any of you watch people who daily vlog regularly, like all the time, have any of them talked about how they remember to pull out the camera and film when they're in public, when they're around other people. Because for instance, I was hanging out with my friends and I don't think any of them are gonna be annoyed or upset that I'm filming, but of course I managed to pan the camera towards some of them at an inopportune moment. So I don't even know if I'm, if I use that clip, I'm not gonna use the whole clip just for the sake of not, you know, making my friends uncomfortable. Cause I care more about them than about having a YouTube video. But. We were at Jinya for, I don't know how long, and I could have filmed several points. I should have shown y'all my food and I didn't think about it. I ordered a cocktail and I didn't show y'all. We walked around Barnes and I could have gotten some footage of that. I could have shown the ice cream shop. I should have filmed a little bit of home goods because we were walking around in there, but I didn't think of any of that. And now I'm at home two, three hours later, kicking myself because I had a whole day of interesting things and I got 1% of it. I don't know. 
Like, I, I really want to keep doing this series because the concept of Vlogmas has been really popular and I feel like this would help with traffic, but it's a struggle to even remember to film each day, let alone be able to come home and edit and get it up in time. So I don't know. I'm wondering if I should continue to pressure myself with this extra project each year if I'm struggling this much with it, you know? Maybe I shouldn't, maybe I, I don't know. Y'all let me know your thoughts. I'm, I'm gonna finish out this year's at the very least as best I can. Maybe I'll get my act together and film a little more in the coming days. But like today was one of the most interesting days I think I'll have and I barely filmed. I'm too much of someone who gets so wrapped up in enjoying what's happening in the moment that I forget to film. And, and this doesn't just apply to the concept of daily vlogging. This affects my event vlogs and my travel vlogs as well. I'll reach a point within the day or the trip where I'm more focused on what's happening around me than on on filming it for posterity for later. And I'm sure, I'm sure everybody who deals with making content has this issue. I think that's why so many people will go for a more structured or scripted sort of content or like a reality show sort of thing where they're manufacturing what's happening in the video as opposed to filming their normal everyday lives and being their normal selves. I just, I can't do that. I'm not interested in being inauthentic for the sake of views and clicks and virality. If I go viral, I want it to be for something good, not something corny or controversial. I hope all that made sense. <laughs> so at least there's a little bit more filler for this one. But yeah, I'm gonna let this process run and we're gonna go watch From Russia With Love and then I will come get work done. <laughs> light and I still need to take off my makeup and all that. I'm winding down for the evening and we'll hopefully get a lot more work done tomorrow. So I figure now is a good time to sign off. So I will bid you all a good night and see you in the morning. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click like below to let YouTube know that. And while you're at it, if you want to stay up to date on all of my content as it gets posted here, please click subscribe and the notification bell to turn on all notifications. That way you never miss a thing ever. If you want to see more content like this specific video, I have the entire Yule Vlog playlist linked in the cards and in the doobly-doo. If you've been following me here for a while and want to see where else I'm active on other social media dimensions, you can find my link tree in the doobly-doo as well with links to my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, website, and my Patreon and Rumble. Speaking of Patreon, I'd like to give a special thanks to my amazing coven of patrons who continue to be my biggest supporters, particularly my candle members, Mitchell and Unimportant. And if you, dear viewer, would like to join their ranks, again, check the link tree below for my Patreon, where pledges start at $1 a month. See you all tomorrow. Have a wonderful night and keep aiming my loves. Mwah.